I was getting rid of a wasp through the upper window, pushing it out. That's how the poem, I had no idea where the poem was going to go. I was forcing a wasp to the top of a window where there was some sky. And there were tiger lilies outside just to love him, or maybe only simply a kiss. For he was hurrying home to fight a broom. And I was trying to open a door with one hand while the other was swinging tomatoes. And you could even smell the corn, for corn travels by wind, and there was the first hint of cold and dark, though it was nothing compared to what would come. And someone should mark the day. I think it was August 20th. And that should be the day of grief, for grief begins then. And the corn man starts to shiver, and crows too, and dogs who hate the wind, though grief would come later. And it was a relief to know I wasn't alone. But be as it may, since it was cold and dark, I found myself singing the brilliant love songs of my other religion. And my other religion is poetry. I guess that's what I meant. Who knows why I said that, you know? At the age of 88, Gerald Stern is a revered elder of American poetry. Born in Pittsburgh in 1925, he's lived in New York City and Paris, but now calls Lambertville, New Jersey home. It's the language, it's the music that counts. It, it's music you write, and that's what finally counts. Not what you say as such, <clears throat> but it's what you say as it's combined with or mixed in with or set fire to by music. My knives all flashing, my hair all streaming, my mother red with laughter, my father cupping his left hand under his armpit, doing the dance of old Ukraine, the sound of his skin, half drum, half fart, the world at last a meadow, the three of us whirling and singing, the three of us screaming and falling as if we were dying, as if we could never stop. In 1945, in Pittsburgh, beautiful, filthy Pittsburgh, home of the evil melons, 5,000 miles away from the other dancing in Poland and Germany. O oh God of mercy, O oh wild God. <laughs> <laughs> 